everyone get ready for a juicy learning in our channel. This is Stop cancer. Giving Up. Come on. Welcome back everyone. Today we are gonna bust the mysterious annotation. However, we need to first learn about viewports. Without further ado, let's keep it rolling. From previous video, we were left with this layout and page setup. Now, let's change the name for layout 1. Right click on it, rename and rename it to whatever you want. I will make it A3 layout. Now, what we need to do is to make a viewport and for that, make a new layer. Click somewhere and escape a couple of times to deselect. Then type layer plus spacebar. Create another layer called viewports. Give it a different color and always make sure that it doesn't plot. And for that click on this little icon here. If we expand this tab you can see it's called plot. If you see this no entry symbol then when you plot you won't see this layer. And you don't want to see a viewport because they are just gonna be a bunch of rectangles. Make the layer current layer. Close the layer properties manager. If you look at the ribbon we have a new layout tab. Click on it. In the layout viewports panel, you can create viewports. Click on the rectangular viewport from the drop down or just press M view plus spacebar. Using object snaps, click on the corner and click on the other corner. When you create a viewport, it switches a grid on. Turn it off, just double click inside the viewport and now your status bar has changed. There is a grid, switch it off. Look at the annotation, an icon with weird numbers. Change it to 1 to 5. So what is annotation? Basically it's a scale. In our case we chose 1 to 5 annotation scale. It means that every 1 mm on the page or layout will represent 5 mm in real life. You can use pan in viewport but don't ever zoom or you will change the scale. Put it like this, because you might put text below or on the right side. Double click on the outside to deactivate the viewport. That way you won't accidentally move or zoom it. You will notice that dimensions are not well displayed at all. They are all tiny. Go to the model tab. We must make dimensions and dimension style annotative. Type dim style, space bar, select our style. Click on modify, go to fit tab, tick the annotative right there like so and close it. Check if there is an annotative logo next to it which is this one. The dimension we have already placed will not change even if we have changed the style itself. To change them we must select all the previously drawn dimensions. There is a way to select them with one go by using layer properties. Click escape couple of times to deselect, select one dimension and you can see that we use dimensions layer for dimensioning. And now we will isolate this layer by clicking on this icon. Now we can only see anything drawn with dimensions layer. Select all of it like so. This is one of the main reasons why we make a new layer for each thing. Right click, go to properties, make them annotative right here. In the dialog box, click add and select 1 to 5. Delete 1 to 1 and then click OK. You can make annotation bigger if you want. It will just be bigger than the other drawing in layout. Now click on this icon to disable isolate function we have previously enabled. Or we won't see anything in layout tab. Let's check it. Everything will be nice and clean if we manage these texts. For that go to model tab, select the text and copy it by pressing Ctrl plus C. Now delete the text. Go to layout and paste the text by Ctrl plus V, but it's way too big. Just select it, right click, go to properties and change the height to 5mm or whatever you desire. Then move it to here.
but be careful. If you paste it while you are inside the viewport, you will paste it to model space and not the layout space. Make sure you double click outside the space before pasting. Do the same thing for the other text. Select the text and copy it by pressing Ctrl plus C. Now delete the text. Go to layout and paste the text by Ctrl plus V. Change the height to 5 mm and drag its width here and put the text right here. We also have table in our model space. Let's move it to a layout too. However, first we need to make it smaller. And the nice thing about AutoCAD, you can do it by selecting the table and resize it by using these grips. Click the grip, drag it and click again. Do this for all this. Select and copy it by Ctrl plus C, delete it and then paste in the layout tab. And put it somewhere in the bottom. Delete the title block in the model space. We don't need that. But why did we do this? Why copy all text and tables from model to layout? And the answer is just to make it nice and tidy. To make it look neat. If you have noticed, we only have the drawing in the model tab. Let's say we draw another object. If we put text tables like before we arrange it in layout, for all the drawing, it would be extremely messy in bigger projects. Instead, you draw the object, make a layout for each drawing in model tab and show the details in the layout tab, like we have just done. Now to print this, right click on the layout tab, click, plot and just print. But before drawing, you can preview it like so. That's it for today's video guys, see you in the next one.